You take it, and I'll get. Cool. It is a real spaceship. It's awesome. A real spaceship. <laughs> I know, right? Where is it? Somebody stole it already. You got to really, really tip those parking attendants so they'll, they'll take Whoa. off their ship. Coming out with a Lamborghini like that. Hey, I'm going to take this for a joyride. Nope, this isn't a. Nope, 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 I don't see it. It's out hanger, so we'll try it. I do like the fact that they uh, made the elevators go everywhere now. Now you can sit here and plink away at it. Does it look like it? Nope. Nope. Try seven. Yeah. Hold on a sec. It's orbiting around you. Hey, here it is. Look at that. Wow. Look at the detail on the outside. That looks cool. Let me just unlock it. That is cool, dude. It's so cool. I love it. Once you hear it and feel it in space, it like rumbles around like something overpowered, too. It's... Why don't I get the feeling uh, I'm going to have to buy one of these? Dang it. Oh, you look like oh, Dr. Good. Evil coming out of that thing. Wahaha. <laughs> 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 That's cool, dude. All right, have fun. I'll get my other one. Thanks, man. Yep. So why on earth did you buy two of them? Well, I bought two of the two packs, so there's a bit of crossover there. I got two of them. Systems activated. Gotcha. Systems on. I got two of them. Most. Uh -huh. well, not average yet, but I got two of the lot. That does sound cool when you turn it on. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, you know what? You gotta call in the uh, the do the services. All right. I think. Coming back. In. Yep. Ion burst engines, polar coolers. Singes, some unknown thing, which I assume is... I don't know what it is. I get your warp drive. You can do it from your Moby glass, you just need to be... Yeah. ...here, I think. Interesting window stuff. There it goes, thank you. That is bizarre. It's definitely different. I get it. Okay. You know, if you hit the K, you know, you could make the ship look like it's talking. <laughs> me, 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 me. Um, it lurches forward when you lift up. It's not balanced properly. They'll probably have to fix that. It's a okay. tweak they're going to have to do. So it lurches Kind All of right, upwards. so bring your nose up just a hair. Gotcha. It does basically what the Argo does. Yeah, exactly what the Argo does. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Just a little bit. Just a little bit here. Landing complete. Oh. Nope. 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 All right. Yeah, which is up quite a bit actually. It's really sluggish. Probably because of the uh, ice, uh, the auto flight crap that they replaced. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I got it under control now. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I know. 
landing gear. It's oh. now my favorite light fighter. I gotta be on. I still find it hard to believe that this is a light fighter, but that's cool. Wow, very cool. Happy on the twist. Oh yeah. Oh, I like the sound. Me like you. See how it kind of cavitates as you gain speed? It's like in a big power boat, man. That's the same fucking thing. It's so well for uh, mm -hmm. for its shape and everything I'm doing almost 400 something let's see 430 at about 4,000 5,000 feet that's pretty good take it I take her a little lower here she handles well she doesn't she doesn't freak out like some of the other ships do when you try and do tight turns it's got a robust feel to it, I think. Well, it, it freaking, it looks like a gorilla when it lands, man. <laughs> so you got that sense of it being just buff. I've gotten to the point, too, where I'm like, you know, like when I'm in my excavator, I can like turn, rotate, put the bucket down and put it, put the bucket out to scoop when I get there. You know, it's like all in a fluid motion. I try to do that when I land this thing. So I'm kind of coming in for landing. I do my turn, and then as I'm lowering down, I put the landing gear out. What's pretty simple. It, they do need to put the headlights on the tip of the arms, though. Mm -hmm. When you turn the headlights on, it it kind of it's kind of useless. So 370, 375 at uh, ground level not bad and it handles well it ha it does it handles like a light fighter for for uh, twisting and turn uh, stuff the turns more like a medium fighter but the twist and the ex and the acceleration probably more like a light fighter so yeah it's uh, it's an interesting blend I was doing bunkers with it yeah it's a two kilometers away. Now all you can see is the little gun marker. I was just launching on him and <laughs> killed him. Oh, so, so the so the Banu guns have pretty good range then. Well, that's the thing with this thing. You can't do close combat with it. You gotta be two kilometers away, and you gotta launch the tachyons at him from two clicks away. Two shots, and it's gone. Yeah. Aurora's all the way up to uh, cover. Uh, we call Connie's. I like it, dude. I love the ship. Now, does it have cargo capacity? No. Um, I thought I saw in one of the Round the Verses or something like that that they had cargo on board. I don't think they do. They might. I don't know. Yeah, it handles like a light fighter. That's probably why they gave it to classification. classification. Mock diamonds look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Get leveled off. Take some. I want to take some screenshots. I don't know why I'm taking screenshots. I'm recording it. So I can get screenshots from my video. It just looks really cool. Cool. 
engine sounds cool too. Oh, I know. Coming up on your set. Okay. You know, if you want me to slow down a little bit, I'm kind of not really watching my speed. Catch up to you, take a couple screens. Two. Oh, that's cool. The, the dust in the air is creating like a bright effect behind the vehicle. Nice. You'll see it in the video. Oh, yeah, I see. Changing the level of thrust changes the sound quite a bit too. It's nice. Got a cool sound when you're coming out of quorum too. Like winds down. It's like. Yeah. Crack. Oh yeah, those cannons. I'm telling you, from two clicks out, nothing stands a chance. Sounds like a your ship sounds like a helicopter coming up behind me. Nice. I got that. That should pass by. Well, they succeeded in making it very different. It is very different flight gameplay with this ship. I love it. Shooting gold dust at people. <sighs> you bastard. I'm gonna have to get one of these. <laughs> Why? Just because it's cool! It is, man. It's definitely got the cool factor. Well, I have plenty of LTI tokens, so I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure I'm going to end up with one of these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't mind buying the packs that, you know, had crossover stuff. I was like, ah, at that time I had figured out, I'll just, you know, buy something else in-game. No big deal, so... I got two of these. I love the extra detail they put into the exterior as well as the interior. Mm -hmm. Are you coming up on my rear? Mm -hmm. I hear the helicopter coming. I can't see you yet, but I know you're coming. Now that I know what to listen for, I can tell what kind of ships, yeah. you know, what kind of ship somebody will be flying if they're coming up. And uh, this thing has a very distinct sound. Oh, yeah. The Banu Merchantman's going to be crazy cool. Oh, yeah. If this is their style guide, this is going to look really cool on a big ship. Saw a little bit of a vapor trail. I don't quite see you yet. Coming up on your starboard side, 1300 meters. Uh, 
that's my right side, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know nautical stuff. Strangely enough, I watched lots of yacht racing and stuff like that. Oh, but, me too. But unfortunately, I don't know nautical terms that well. I'm at the marina all the time with my boat, and I didn't know any either, but my buddies, they, they just hammer it into you. You know what I mean? They're like, no, it's this. It's like, all right, just shut up. Yeah. One friend's got a real 890 jump, a 50 foot Predator Sunseeker. It's fucking crazy. Oh my god, that would be awesome to go for a ride on. No, oh, we go for a rip on it all. And he's fucking hammered all the time. This guy can park his 50 foot boat drunk better than I can park my 36 foot boat sober. <laughs> <laughs> I think the underbelly weapons actually clip with the front arms of the of the ship. So when you fire, you're actually shooting your own arms off. Yeah, they do clip through. Yeah, they might need to fix that. I don't know. Okay, I see a little black dot. There you are. Now I start to see it. It totally sounds like a... Uh, a Huey or a Sikorsky coming in. Yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah, stay on my right side. That's perfect. Very cool. I'll, I'll link a picture real quick. Show you what it looks like. There you go. That's what I see. You're kind of down below, off to the off to my right. Nice. That looks cool. Yeah, get as close as you can to my right hand side. What's your speed? Uh, three, let me check. 330. I'm already getting a decent shot of you. If you can get within that range, but on my, on my right-hand side. 323 is the best I can. Yeah. That's cool. Just, uh, bring your height up a little bit. Wow, you bring height up, you lose speed, don't you? I guess that makes sense. You're sacrificing uh, speed for altitude. You want me in closer? Or? Yeah, bring it in closer. I want you to tell me what color my eyes are. <laughs> Serious? Definitely, definitely considering getting one of these. And the Banu evidently, um, because they're traders, merchants, their ships are built with all the best technology they can find, so the engines are like car to wall, evidently, in, tech, in oh, their, no. the tech. Yeah, I just crashed. Uh-oh. I see your calm trail below me. Oh, you're heading towards the ground. That's not good. Nope. I'm watching you by your <laughs> hauling ass. <laughs> you look okay so far. Trying to get back in. Uh -oh. right, let's, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's see if we can't come down. Oh, you're 
pulling back up again. That's good. So you're not going to hit the ground. You're going to be fine. Leveling off and you're flying straight yes. now. All right, yeah, I'm loading now. Got to So respawned you back at your original spot then. I'm in outer space now. Oh really? That is different. Yeah, I'm in like the high atmosphere. I think I see you. Cool, I'm at 428 for speed. Yeah, it's like they're shooting stardust. It's freaking cool. Coming. There you are. No sound effect for the weapons right now. It was just a bug. There you are. I'm doing 428. Four fifteen. go. Very cool. Alright, let's uh, let's do something here. 
let's see how these suckers handle. Uh, let's see, what's a good spot on Hurston? Let's get up into space. There's a few places on Hurston where there's canyons. We'll see how these things handle. So, 1,200 seems to be its top speed. Mm hmm Yeah, that's pretty good. It's kind of a heavy light fighter. Yeah, very. Oh, wow, I am burning. I, I got to really stop hitting the afterburners on a lead foot. At 60%. Seven hundred corn for a light fighter. That's yeah, insane. that's that could be a that could be get adjusted. When the um, yeah. when the Valkyrie first came out, it had a ridiculous. It had ten grand or something like that. Yeah. So they'll they'll let me adjust it. I'm in high orbit. I'm in orbit right now. Oh, that's right. We we lit link and we yeah. Ishmael. Ishmael. Well, yeah, I guess there are some canyons over there. Not a lot. Uh, I think Rufus is probably what we want. Hobart. It's going to be the one we want. Bananabus? It's going to be... Well, that's on this side of the planet, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want that. Let's go to Hobart. 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 It's in the upper section where the sun is actually rising on the planet. Uh, lower upper section of the planet. Oh, cool. We're going to get a quantum jump together. Let's see how it works on a wraparound. Mm -hmm. Here we go. That is cool. Yeah, there's a, not really a ton of canyons, but we can see what we can work with here. Oh, yeah? Quantum it ported me right to the stand star. Right in the middle. <laughs> what? Right in the middle of the stand star. Bizarre. It ported me right where I needed to be. Well, that's, that's really weird. Yeah, this thing actually handles pretty well. Okay, I'm on my way back. At least you got plenty of quantum fuel. Maybe that's what the extra quantum fuel's for. <laughs>
little drifty, but it doesn't have any wings, so that's not surprising. Yeah, the only thing I've noticed are those fins on the bottom outside pieces of the arms. Kind of like fins you'd see on the boat. Or the it has kind of the feel of a heavy light fighter. Though, if you could figure out how to turn it all off behind some asteroid, have somebody lure somebody in, they wouldn't even know you were there. And like I said, you got to be two kilometers out, anyways. Yeah. Just turn it on, lift off, and just light them up, and they they wouldn't even know. Engines destroyed. Rub rolls. What happened? Well, I did manage to clip the rocks, and I am bleeding green fluid. That's Weird, my landing gear is still floating out in front of me. <laughs> that is unusual. Well, I survived it, so that's a plus for the ship. Take some hits. You lose your arms pretty quick, though. I got one arm left. Maybe I'll meet you at the truck stop. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. There's little little green electric features coming off of the parts that are damaged. That's cool. Oh, thirty thousand. <laughs> hey, it was good while it lasted. 